Hey guys, this is Jesse at Code Assist, and this is the second video in my app customization series. In this video, we're going to take a closer look at the metronome. So in my app usage series, I already briefly covered how you might use the metronome in a cardiac arrest situation. The button simply toggles the metronome on and off. And if I want to change the tempo, say for a patient of a different age, or when using it to time IV drips, I can simply click the three dots and quickly set my tempo. But since there's always room for fat fingers or user error in manual inputs, I built in some boundaries. So if you accidentally set the tempo to 1000 beats per minute, it'll correct me and place the tempo at my upper limit. This just protects me from possible sources of additional error. To see how all this kind of works, let's jump over to the customization page. There are a few additional knobs that we can turn to truly customize the metronome experience. So first, let's flip on this toggle so you can hear the metronome. Now let's use the first slider to bring down the volume just so it's not too distracting. The volume slider allows you to set the volume level of the metronome in your app. Since each device has different audio output capabilities, this allows you to set the volume to a comfortable level. The next slider is for the default tempo. You can always change the tempo while in the app, but this value is the original tempo to which the metronome will be set when you first turn it on. Next is the frequency slider. This is more about aesthetics than anything else. Perhaps you have equipment that makes sounds at certain frequencies, or maybe your device outputs lower frequencies better than upper. Whatever your reason might be, this slider allows you to change the pitch of the metronome. Finally is the duty cycle. For those not familiar with digital signals, this term effectively describes what percentage of the time the sound is on. You're essentially changing the dwell or the sustain time of the note. Shorter duty cycles have a shorter dwell time, so the note sounds more like a thump. And longer duty cycles have a longer dwell time, so you hear much more of the sustained pitch. Like frequency, this knob is all about aesthetics. So choose a duty cycle that gives your metronome the sound you want in your app. So now that my settings are configured, I can jump back over to my active code and try out the metronome one more time. And that's it for the metronome. So take some time to play with these settings on your device to ensure you're maximizing your metronome performance and are prepared for any possible situation. In the next video, we'll see how badges can help you keep track of critical CPR events in your log. Thank you.